Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today we're doing an unboxing for an item I've been really holding off on. So, some backstory. I switched to Sony about a year ago, give or take, and it just didn't work out for me. Great system. Don't really have anything bad to say about it. Uh, the glass was great, but again, I do weddings. Didn't work out for me, so I ended up switching back to Canon. But one of my favorite lenses in the Sony lineup was the 85mm 1.4 G Master. Absolutely loved it. Before then, I had never really shot with an 85 millimeter. But anyways, fast forward to today, back in the Canon ecosystem, and I finally decided to pick up the new 85 millimeter 1.4. So uh, thanks to my friends over at the Camera Exchange here in San Antonio, I got this beautiful bag. And inside it is a new 85 millimeter 1.4. So let's go ahead and get this box and Bam, there it is. So super excited to check this out. Um, this is uh, obviously Canon's latest and greatest. It's got image stabilization, which again, with a system like Canon's where you don't have an image stabilized, image stabilized sensor, um, where a sensor that's stabilized, it makes a huge difference, right? So let's go ahead and unbox it and let's do a little test footage on it and see how it looks. Okay guys, so this is my first time doing a top-down setup, so we'll see how it works. Give me feedback in the comments if you like it or not, but here we have the 85mm 1.4 IS. So you open it up, you're going to have your typical Canon uh, warranty cards. Um, you're going to have your typical Canon uh, lens pouch. And then inside, you're going to have some cardboard, some styrofoam, and there it is, got your lens hood, and you got the lens itself. So off the bat, I can tell you this is a hefty lens. And I've only seen this lens in pictures before. I have never really um, had the chance to actually hold it in my hands. And it's a, it's, a, it's a big lens. It's not as small as I thought it would be. Wow, look at that chunk of glass. I think this is uh, 77 millimeters. Um, yeah, 77 millimeters. This thing is a freaking beast. Look at that. Oh my God. Let's put this down. Let's go ahead. Wow. So huge diameter. Uh, here on the side, you do have your AF uh, manual focus switch, stabilizer on and off, and of course, a nice manual. Um, focus ring. So let me go ahead and grab another lens to compare it to really quickly. All right, so here I have the the 50 millimeter, which I was filming the intro with. This is the 51.2L next to the 85, and you really get an idea of how big this is. It's actually, I mean, I would I'll, I'd probably say if I remember correctly, it's just as big as the 85G Master, maybe a little bit bigger. But uh, I like having a hefty lens, um, especially like. I don't like having a cheap feeling, as I guess I want to say. So, uh, build quality Canon, you can't go wrong. They're they're amazing at doing what they do. So, let's go ahead and slap this on the camera and see the difference um, from when I filmed the intro here with the 50, and we'll put on the 85 and see what it looks like. Alrighty, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, as you can see, I am now filming with the 85 millimeter 1.4 at 1.4. That's the beautiful part about using Canon's dual pixel autofocus is it has face detection and, and you're able to really shoot in razor thin depths of field. Now, I don't recommend it and I'm only doing it here for the YouTube video, but uh, you, you can do it if you choose to. Now, I've convinced the wifey to go outside really quickly. It's, uh, it's Texas and it's been 100 plus degrees all day and it's about 94 degrees right now. So we're going to go outside really quick and test out the image stabilization on the lens. I'm going to try to do some handheld video, see how it performs. I'll do a few stills and then kind of show you guys here uh, what that looks like. So hopefully you enjoy the footage and I'll be right back. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. 
Okay, guys, so what did you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, as a whole, um, you really can't judge a lens based on its first impressions. It really takes a, a few uses to really kind of get an idea of how the lens is going to perform. So I'll be looking to do a review here in the next few weeks and kind of let you know my final thoughts on this lens and how it performs. At $1599, it's definitely one of the more premium Canon lenses. You still have the 85mm 1.2 right above it. I think it's at $1899. And you have the Sigma option, which is also image stabilized, coming in uh, significantly cheaper. I think it's almost $500 less. But with Sigma, even though they're sharp, well-built lenses, they don't really have weather sealing. And two, they have focusing issues. Uh, I've tried them out before, and even though it's super sharp, focusing was not reliable. And it just, it's disappointing, but I can't take that risk in the field that I'm in. So we do wedding photography, and in the wedding photography business, uh, you don't get multiple tries to get certain shots. And so far, Canon has not disappointed, so. Um, be on the lookout, guys. Please subscribe, like this video, and I'll put out a review here shortly. But as always, hopefully you enjoy the video. You guys have a good one. Peace.